Hey, 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 YouTube fam. This is your girl, Mommy So True. Welcome to my channel. I'm a survivor of narcissistic abuse. Yeah, I'm not far in my journey, but every day is a new day, and I'm so ready to thrive in this, you guys. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you're new here. Welcome. The reason why I started my channel a couple months ago is because I'm tired of being a victim to narcissistic abuse. I'm tired of being the daughter of a narcissist, the sister of a narcissist, the ex-wife now of a narcissist. You know, I'm just tired of having that victim mindset that has made this reoccur in my life, that has put this fear in me, that has allowed this to continue to happen. I am letting you guys know that the number one thing and the number one way to start recovering and surviving out of this is taking accountability. Taking accountability for your role in this. Because at the end of the day, you guys, we allowed these people in our lives. We sat here and ignored red flags. I told you guys in the video, my first video that you guys see of me talking about my story, you know, my energy was way different that day because I was still kind of in shock and in disbelief. I was coming out of this depression. It was a lot going on for me in that time. But from then till now, that victim mentality is gone because guess what? I don't want to be stuck. I'm not going to be stuck. I'm not going to sit here for years. I'm not going to sit here and allow this person to continue to program me to be their doll. I'm a human being. I love me. I don't care what I look like in the aftermath. I don't care what kind of shit I went through to get over this. I don't care how many tears I had to shed. I don't care what the debt looked like. I'm not a victim. I happened to walk into this, but it built strength for me. It gave me wisdom to move in my life because I am no longer interested in allowing any of these type of people to enter my life. I have the choice. This is my life. The power is in my hands. And this is what narcissists are designed to come into our lives to confuse us about, to make us doubt ourselves, to, to confuse us about who we are. So many of us have callings on our lives and these narcs were sent with these demonic spirits to come and sit on your talents and your skills and your calling. And every day we choose to sit there and let the experience just run through our mind and we sit here, we think of these thoughts and we just keep reminiscing about these people knowing they don't love us, knowing they don't care. I have to accept accountability that it was me who kept taking this person back because I couldn't speak up for myself. It took me a while to start speaking up for myself with the narcissist. Even growing up with my mother, I never spoke up for myself. I allowed her to do things and say things to me and I would just cry on the inside and hold the emotions inside. I allowed that. I did that to me. I neglected me. My mindset is not, why did this happen to me? Why me? Why not someone else? What did I do to deserve this? I'm too perfect for this. That's not my mindset at all that that belief of not being good enough and being programmed to think that i can't move on and i can't be with someone who i deserve to be with and i can't live a fulfilling life that i see myself that that is all out of the window that mindset is gone there is no way that i can sit here and honestly tell you guys that i feel like a victim if I did, that was the process. That was me going through the moments of what the hell is happening in my life. That was me trying to figure it out. But guess what? I didn't stay there. I didn't stay stuck in those emotions. The only reason I exposed it to you is because I know I am not the only one going through this in the world. I expose those tears to you guys because I want to help someone see me come from that to where I'm going, which is up. And that's where I'm going to stay stuck at, at the top. You allow yourself to stay stuck in this victim mentality, trying to figure out why this and why that, when you know why. 
you're still in doubt about why when you know why there's so many videos about these people left and right there's so many people talking about narcissistic abuse so there's really no excuse nowadays to continue to have a victim mindset it's a choice now self-awareness has to be priority now it's you first now we, we've allowed these people to make us think that we can't be anything without them, that we need them, that nobody will love us like them. They don't love us. They don't even love themselves. Sitting around depressed, anxiety through the roof. You know, you laying around thinking about this person all day long. Thinking about the good, thinking about the bad, thinking about the ugly. Tormenting yourself not eating, overeating, not taking care of yourself. That's victim mindset. That's being stuck as a victim. That's, that's letting the narcissist know that they got you where they want you. We are breaking this generational curse of men and women who are sitting through this type of nonsense for years and years and years. It's heartbreaking. You have to come into terms with, I am not a victim anymore. This person got me completely fucked up. I am not a victim anymore. I am going to stand firm on the fact that I am not a victim anymore. I'm going to take my life back. I'm going to take my mind back. You know, you got to realize that you allowed it. It's okay that you allowed it. Let, it. let it grow you. Don't let it weaken you. Let it grow you. Let it mold you to be a great person. The person that the narcissist fears. The person the narcissist does not want to see. That mighty person that you're sitting on. Once you learn about what type of person you're dealing with, you got to move forward. You got to now take hold of yourself and move forward. At the end of the day, yeah, you were manipulated. Yeah, you were lied to. But once you open your eyes and realize you were fooled and you were tricked, don't stay in the situation and continue to be a victim. It's definitely hard. It's definitely hard to move on. It's definitely difficult to accept that this person played you. It's definitely hard to accept that this person that you loved is unreal. It's definitely devastating to watch your family fall apart when all you wanted to do was see them come together and, 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 and just live. You know, nobody's perfect. Nobody's looking for perfection, but we, we want family. We want love, but in a positive and healthy way. I definitely have been there, y'all. I took that person back over and over and over because I was trying to prove a point to them. I was so busy trying to prove to them that I was this perfect person or this good person that they could never have or whatever it was that I was trying to prove to them, I was still killing myself because I wasn't being true to myself in those moments. Once the person already showed me they were a demon, here I am now, I'm choosing to allow you back in my life. You see what I'm saying? That, that, that victim mindset, they program, us, they program us to be victims. It's time to toughen up and stop allowing these type of people to come into your life and ruin them. You're not a victim anymore. If you are, it's by choice. Once they've broken you and they've hurt you to the core and you keep allowing them back into your life and finding reasons and making excuses, it's your choice now. Now, now you need to, you need to hold that responsibility because where's the self-awareness? Where's the self-love? Now the tables have turned and you're playing the fool and they sitting back watching you laughing. They like, oh my gosh, this girl ain't never going nowhere. This man ain't never going nowhere. I got them right where I need them to be forever. No, we're survivors. Yeah, it's hard, but you can do this. I'm doing it. It's hard, but I'm doing it. No, I, I created this channel to show y'all that I know it's fucking hard. I could have sat here and, may, and never exposed what I went through and just let y'all just imagine it. But I, I chose to expose what I exposed because I want to be all the way raw about this. I'm not perfect in any way, shape, or form, but I know the greatness in me. I know exactly why this has happened to me. I know exactly why I was put on this earth and I've dealt with what I've dealt with. 
it has brought this out of me today. What you're seeing, this strength that you can feel in my videos, these years of abuse and self-reflection has led me to this now situation that has completely opened my eyes to see that it's me. I am the problem. When my ex narc told me that I'm the problem, I was offended that day, but I realized, yeah, I am the problem. You're right, I am absolutely the problem because I allowed you in my life and I keep allowing you here. I'm allowing you to hurt me. I'm allowing you to talk to me like trash. I'm allowing you to hit me. I'm not calling the cops on you. I'm letting you get away with everything. I'm not a victim no more. You're, you're, you're not getting that from me anymore. And that's where you get when you throw that victim mentality away in the trash. Thank you for tuning in today's video, you guys. This is Mommy So True. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe on today's video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Until next time, y'all.